Good morning. Um, my hair is a bit greasy and I'm just about to curl it and I thought I'd just show you how I use this curler. It's this um, Mark Hill hair one from Boots. I cannot emphasise enough, I am terrible at doing my hair. If you're good at doing your hair, if you're a hairdresser, you're probably going to hate this. I'll forgive you for just watching something else. But if you just want to see like what I'm doing to get kind of beachy curls in my hair, this is the story. Now, I had them in yesterday. In fairness, like they've lasted nicely since yesterday. Um, but I want to show you from scratch because honestly... I feel like that is quite misleading to start with, but the way I start with my hair, it looks crazy and this will sort it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just batiste the life out of it. I'm going to avoid um, too much actually on the parting if I can and just really go in like underneath in particular and it will kind of work its way through. Now, as you can see, the Batiste, I've gone really close to my head. I probably shouldn't have done that. Already you're starting to see like this will absolutely sort itself out. I personally find that the Batiste in particular, as you can see, really adds volume. So that's always good. But I also find, especially with these waves, if your hair is a little bit greasy it looks a bit better because when it's for my you know experience dry blonde curly anyway you're just asking for trouble so i'm brushing this through this is i don't know what it's called but like a nice little paddle brush from hershison's now huge thing i've learned during lockdown because i've just been constantly dry shampooing is um, I never do my hair in the top that I'm planning to wear for the day. This is an old jumper. I love it. It's my cosy jumper. But like you might get bits of white down your top. So do not wear for your dry shampooing your proper top. And then if I get white on this jumper, I don't care because it's just my cosy jumper. Um, I just really want to make sure that these fronts aren't looking greasy. I know you, like the instructions are not to do it this close. And again, I'm really, <laughs> oh God, I'm really going to emphasise that, you know, this is not necessarily the exact way to do it. But I feel like we see all of these polished tutorials all the time. And sometimes you just want someone to show you what you do, which looks like your routine and just feel quite OK about it. Now, I'm really having to brush that through because, as you saw, I did absolutely go to town with that. Okay, three minutes. I honestly feel quite confident I'm going to have my whole hair done within the 15-minute time frame. So, um, <laughs> there's literally dry shampoo. See what I mean? Why you need to put your jumper on. There's dry shampoo everywhere. First thing I personally do is just take my hair in half. Um, I kind of do it on a slant and like look at all of that dry shampoo under there. I'm not bothered about that. Um, I'm just going to tie up the top and then I'm going to do this underneath in about four sections. Um, what else is I going to talk to you about? Another thing. So this is a Mark Hill hair wand from Boots. You get the bottom for I think it's about £25 and then you pay separately for the tops and they're about £15. From what I've seen it's usually on three for two so you can probably get two heads and the whole thing would be about £40. That is better than so many things I've spent a fortune on and that's why I keep harping on about it. It doesn't come with a mat or anything. I've got this case from my GHDs, but one thing I will say, it's got a tiny nib there and there. It's not really enough to balance it safely on, like this table is wooden, for example. So I would get yourself a heat protective mat of some description if you're going to use this. Trust me to do a hair video and like not even do any hair for the first five minutes. I genuinely apologise. But anyway, you're going to see how quick this is.
I was actually just thinking like, what are we going to talk about while I'm just doing my hair? Because usually I'm doing my makeup and I'm talking about that. So, I mean, we could talk about Strictly Come Dancing. I was very upset that Clara and Jamie were in the bottom two because I didn't want either of them to go. So there was no real winners last week, was there? Um, I haven't seen Last Night Time Celebrity yet. I'll probably watch that later on today. I've seen that Beverly's gone. I'm not happy about that either. Look how easy that is. Right. And like, as well, because your hair's a bit greasy, it, it just goes in the clumps quite easily. What I will say is if it's quite smooth already, I'm really hoping I don't burn myself because usually I'm not looking at a camera, I'm just looking at my hair. Um, if it's quite smooth already, you might not need to do two lots. It might just be nice if you do one. I'm going to just do one on this one and see how it looks. And also I should have said I did have heat protector on it this morning. Mm. I am going to do another one on that, you know, but you can see what I mean, that you wouldn't necessarily have to. And then you can really gently just give that a stroke and see how it's feeling. But like the underneath of that side, I've got to film some videos today and I've got QVC, so I want to be really polished. But if I didn't need to be that polished, I would honestly just dry shampoo that and wear it like that again. Um, what I've loved about this is, I'm going to just do one on this one because it's near the back. During lockdown, um, I started researching curls. I saw all these things on TikTok about the curly girl method and I'm just dipping a toe into it. Um, and so basically one of my friends as well, Nalintha, she was like, you know, people use so much heat on their hair. They blow dry it, they style it, all the rest of it. And she said to me, like, one thing that she always does, and she's a model, so she always has to be, you know, really well presented, different jobs every day. You don't know who's doing your hair and makeup. She was saying that she always lets her hair dry naturally. So what I've started to do is let my hair dry naturally. And then if I am doing this on it, it's only this versus what would have been blow drying it and straightening or curling it um, and I can see the difference in it already. Um, in terms of letting it dry naturally when I've got very curly frizzy hair there are loads of techniques that you can do if you're literally following the curly girl method. Um, to be honest I am still researching and reading that, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to do that. I feel like there are probably experts better placed that you could have a little Google of on the internet. Um, but what I do do, if I'm not planning to wear it curly, is I will just tie it up. I'll wash it earlier in the evening, tie it in a little bun or something, and let it dry for a good few hours through the evening before I go to bed. Because if I go to bed with it super wet, I just wake up and it's frizzy and curly. Whereas if I've tied it in a bun earlier in the evening and let it dry a bit before bed, it goes kind of wavy. Look how quick this is doing though. Like before I know it, I mean, it's only coming up to 10 minutes and I will have done my whole head of hair and it was greasy. That's another thing when I was looking at it all this morning. Basically, to be honest with you, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode this morning. And I always do that if I'm doing a video or something so that I can do the video without any interruptions. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode and someone rang me and I lost all my video and I don't know how to edit videos. So I wouldn't have, because I was thinking, oh, I'll just carry on and then string them together. But I don't know how to do that. So then I was looking at myself thinking, well, what are you going to do for your video today? Because I'm not going to start my whole makeup again. Um, and I thought, well, I've got to do my hair and all the better that it's a bit greasy because, you know, Obviously, the ideal scenario is your hair is washed and clean and you feel fab. But let's be honest, that isn't what happens every day, is it? Especially not in lockdown. So um, here we go. Curls coming your way. Now, you'll notice 
they're like really creased. I just let them sit like that for a bit. And then let's say if I'm doing a video or something like I am today, nearer the time, just before I start, I will shake them out a bit, which I'll show you. I'm actually delighted with how that stayed. I'm not someone that's really precious about my hair, to be honest. Like, I think it can sometimes look quite nice if it's a bit dishevelled or, you know, I, I'm not a very pristine person at the best of times. I quite like everything a bit, you know, rough or smudgy if it's your makeup. So, um, you know, by all means, you could create something more polished if you wanted to, is what I'm getting at. Right, where am I? See that now, two more pieces. Another thing I always remind myself of when I'm doing this is that it's sometimes nice not to do loads of pieces. Obviously, the more pieces you do, the more you've got these really detailed little waves, but I quite like it to look like all over waves rather than loads of little curls. So super handy. Like how many sections have I done in total? I've lost count, but defo like you do your whole head in about 10 sections. And if you look now and it's 11 and a half minutes in, I didn't put this tongue to my hair until we were five minutes in. Okay. Now, I'm still working out, you know, so I'm not going to go preaching to you. I'm still working out the best way to get the front bits looking really nice. But I think if you start a tiny bit lower down than the rest of your hair, that's generally a good thing to do. Um, and then the final step I'm going to start telling you about now is the Living Proof Instant Defrizzer. That is absolutely wicked do you know why like so many things that i think are aimed at curls are oils and yes my hair is dry and it could do with a good bit of moisture i definitely see that however if you've got thin hair like i've got a lot of hair but it's quite thin and oils can really weigh it down so you want that middle solution that is going to give you the smoothness, the silkiness, the hydration, but not the heaviness of an oil. I'm turning those off now. So I'm literally then going to go in with this in particular on the ends where that's feeling a bit crusty, let's be honest. It's also really good, this stuff for, you know, like when you get, I feel like it's just blasted them now so you can't see. But, you know, when you've straightened your hair and you get those little static bits, like this just gives it such a shine. That's obviously the nice thing as well about doing it on slightly older hair. And I'm not going to interrupt them too much. But now, if I just give this a bit of a shake, it just... Because as well, I've only got the two halves. You want to kind of um, make it all bouncy rather than being able to see exactly the pieces you've curled but look at that hair's curled I've got a minute and 20 seconds to go absolutely fab so key things dry shampoo I think not only because it's nicer on slightly greasier hair but also to add volume brilliant these big batiste this is 400 mil they last you ages if you do like your dry shampoo that is great um, the other dry shampoo I love that I don't have to hand, I know I've mentioned it before, the Living Proof one is absolutely brilliant if you want something completely undetectable and it's really good at like completely reviving. Your hair goes from greasy, flat, everything to you can absolutely like transform a blow dry or something like this. Um, to finish, this is the Living Proof Instant Defrizzer. Honestly, I just think that is absolutely fab. Also, the nice thing with it, um, it lasts a really long time. You don't need a lot of it. I'm literally choking on it now. I'm going to get a coughing fit. You don't need a lot of it to do the job. Any brush to brush your hair out. Mark Hill wand. I'm going to go because I have just inhaled all of those fumes. And I'll talk to you soon.